Hello, this session is part of the UVM Extension New Farmer Project Building Your Networks video series developed in collaboration with the UVM Agricultural Risk Management and Crop Insurance Education Program. These videos are designed to introduce you to resources that can help you launch and grow successful farm businesses. This educational video series is made possible by funding from the Northeast Extension Risk Management Education Center. I'm Jake Jacobs, and I coordinate the UVM Ag Risk Education Program. This program provides resources and programs for producers and works collaboratively with UVM Extension and the many agricultural agencies, organizations, and agribusinesses that serve and support Vermont farmers. The USDA Risk Management Agency, or RMA, administers federal crop insurance programs. I'm here with Jeremy Forette from Crop Growers LLP to hear about how RMA can help beginning and early stage farmers in Vermont. Welcome, Jeremy, and please introduce yourself. Thank you, Jake. It is a true pleasure to get to visit with you and your listeners today. I manage Crop Growers LLP, our crop insurance program. We have 35 licensed crop insurance agents. All together, we provide crop insurance policies to over 2,000 farm families in nine Northeast states. This is my 24th year in crop insurance. Over that time, I've seen crop insurance become more responsive to farmers' needs and expanded to now cover over 130 different crops. Insurance is designed to help cover damages or losses like having auto insurance to provide money for repairs or replacement if you have a car accident. What does crop insurance cover? Today's crop insurance covers losses due to unavoidable events such as adverse weather or revenue losses. It includes coverage for losses from things like excess moisture, hail, wind, drought, disease, with some products providing protection for market price declines. So crop insurance can be a tool to help farmers manage production or financial losses. FSA administers a number of disaster assistance programs, including NAP disaster assistance for crop losses. Can you explain the difference between crop insurance and disaster assistance? Certainly, Jake. Crop insurance enrollment and service is done through crop insurance agents who work with farmers to develop a coverage plan that is personalized to their specific business needs and risk tolerance. The slide shows examples of some of the different types of risk management agency policies available. NAP coverage is delivered through the Farm Service Agency and covers crops that are not covered by crop insurance. NAP is the only crop loss disaster assistance program and coverage is limited to 65% of production. Jeremy, can you explain briefly how crop insurance works? Crop insurance is very simple. The farmer chooses which crops they want to uncover, at what coverage level, and the program uses the farmer's own production information to establish their production base for coverage. And premiums are federally subsidized, but paid by the farmer. Their agent will walk them through the process. You mentioned crop insurance agents. Who can a farmer contact locally for information or to enroll? Choosing the right crop insurance agent is one of the most important decisions for your business and your crop insurance experience. All licensed agents can provide crop insurance and their products and prices are the same. So it is important that a farmer work with an agent they are comfortable with and who will provide the best service. Today's crop insurance program requires a dedicated agent that understands all of the products and options to develop the best plan possible for your business. I would suggest asking your neighbors and peers about their experience. If that is not an option, you can go to the RMA website, Agent Locator. I know that you 
Jake or someone else working with the UVM Agricultural Risk Management Education Program can help a farmer navigate the RMA website. Jeremy, are these insurance agents the same people that sell and service farm and liability insurance? Good question, Jake. Some agents offer crop insurance and farm insurance. Many crop insurance agents in Vermont and the Northeast region only provide crop insurance. So a producer must work with a licensed crop insurance agent to get crop insurance, right? Absolutely, Jake. Crop insurance agents work with the producer to determine the policies and provisions that will provide the best coverage for that farm and then work with them to enroll. The agent is also the first contact if the farm experiences a loss. So what happens if the farm does experience a loss and needs to file a claim? In the event of a crop loss, the farmer contacts their agent and the agent will file a notice of loss to the insurance provider. A qualified claims adjuster will work directly with the farmer to evaluate the crop loss conduct appraisals, and finalize the claim. Depending on the extent of loss, an insurance payment referred to as an indemnity payment may be paid. Are there specific crop insurance plans that you might recommend for beginning farmers or particular benefits for new and early stage farmers? There are a number of different types of insurance products. Some policies cover only one commodity, such as a policy for corn or wheat. The Whole Farm Revenue Protection Program can cover multiple commodities under one policy. Your crop insurance agent will help you determine the best options for your business, and all licensed crop insurance agents can provide the same products. The USDA's Beginning Farmer, Rancher, and Veteran Program provides additional benefits for farmers with five years or less in a crop or livestock operation. These farmers can have administrative fees waived, additional 10% subsidy for buy-up coverage levels. In some cases, it may be possible to use previous production records to establish historic production records for the farm. And you may qualify for yield adjustments that can affect the yield guarantee that your insurance policy will cover. How can early stage farmers prepare so they can be ready to meet with a crop insurance agent? Are there specific records or forms needed to enroll? One of the most important steps is to start with a knowledgeable licensed crop insurance agent. The first visit with an agent is a discovery period for both the farmer and the agent. Information to have available includes your cropping plan, cost of production, how the crop will be used. If you have a livestock operation, you should have your feed inventory and feed needs and the type of production records you use. Where can a farmer learn more about crop insurance and find a licensed crop insurance agent? The Risk Management Agency website is a good place to begin learning more about crop insurance. Farmers enroll in crop insurance through a licensed crop insurance agent. You can generate a list of agents licensed in your state or region using the RMA website's agent locator, but your farm service agency office, farm credit, or other lender's office may be able to provide recommendations. I encourage farmers to ask a neighbor about their agent. You can also contact the UVM Ag Risk Program for assistance. Jeremy, thanks so much for talking with us today. It was my pleasure, Jake. Thank you for having me. Additional videos in this series will present information on other USDA programs that may be of particular interest for beginning and early stage farmers. For information on agricultural risk management, you can visit the UVM AgRisk website that's on your screen. Thank you for watching.